Hey guys, this is Levite Apparel. All right, again, hey guys, this is Levite Apparel. Um, so right here we have the Endurance Endurance Loris Heating System. Right here. So um, I had to shut it off because the LO light was on. Uh, my previous video, you saw that I fixed it and it was all set. Um, uh, apparently, even though I kick-started, things were good. Um, as you can see, the gauge was at its proper temperature. I mean, um, what do you call it? Um, um, pressure temperature. Yeah, pressure. So, uh, everything was good with that, except had a little snag. Um, when the LO light is on, I'm going to pause real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so when the LO light is on, it's because this right here, um, I'm saying my finger, yeah, I do. All right, take it off. All right, cool. So this right here, right, this system right here, part, is the one that tells the um, motor that kick starts, and it tells the motor that it's on and everything. Uh, anyways, I don't want to get too deep into it. I'm not a heating system guy. What I am is a homeowner um, who wants to fix an issue. And um, I'm recording it because um, also you want to record yourself doing it. Because you see this wire right here. There's another wire that's similar to it. And if you don't plug it to the right wire, of course, when you take it out, it's the only one wire that's available. Um, you have to take this one off and you have to take this off also so you can put this one in as you can see it has the same um, I think this would be called a female head yep it has the same nope this it's a male head see how the prongs are sticking out yeah so it's, um, and then on top of that you have come on can you see it yeah you have those parts that you have to plug in um, now, I went and I ordered this on, um, what is it called, uh, Home Depot, and you can, if you have the Loris Endurance system like I do, uh, you can get it on Home Depot, alright, so this is how it looks like, hopefully there's not too much glare, that's how it looks like, and this is what's in it. Okay, all right, and attempting to do right now is I'm going to remove this. I've already got the nut a little bit out, as you can see, it's unscrewing. Um, once I've completely taken it out, um, by the way, when you're trying to take the nut out, it's going to be hard. The reason why is because the way this they screwed this on is like super super tight. So don't give up, just keep turning it left to unscrew it the hardest you can. If you can find a plier that has one of those long um uh, I think called this nose, like long plier end. It's a lot better because as you can see, it's hard for me to get to this section right here. Right? So, but yeah, once you get it, get a grip on it, just keep turning. It's hard to get to it, but if you do, just keep turning. And eventually, it's going to come out. Like I said, this is put on super, super tight. So when you're putting it back, you have to do the same thing. Alright. And be careful while you're doing that of the wires. It is completely, oh, it is completely shut off. But um, you want to be careful you don't let any wire loose. I'm going to pause this real quick because it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. So... Alright guys, we have a slight dilemma. As you can see, this 
right here I can't really touch it because it will mess it up has a slight U um, also uh, this is where it came out of uh, yeah. hold on real quick I don't know if you see those two holes right here one and two that's why I was trying to take off this is how it was inside of it bang all right, so I took it off um, so I can replace it with the new one, which is this one right here. But I don't know if you can see the comparison. All right, so this one has the U. This one does not, which means I can't put it inside because I cannot guarantee that it's the right one. Um, obviously, it's not the right one because, as you can see, it has a U shape and... This one is just a solid. Um, the U I'm talking about is right here again. And then the solid I'm talking about is this one right here, right where my humongous finger is. Right there. Alright. So, obviously, I can't switch it. But what I'm going to do is put it back in hopes that this thing works again and I can place another order on Home Depot just let them know I got the wrong one hopefully this video will show them the right one um, because when I went to go get it I didn't take this out so now that I have alright you can see how it looks like and then when I go to the store I can just show it to them alright also I'm gonna take a picture of it just in case alright so again this is the Grun false. Uh, I don't believe it's the issue. As you can see. Um, let me see if you can. Yep. Right here is better. Uh, there it is right here. Yep. Okay cool. So you see how it is against the metal. Um, that red part indicates that it's rusted. The metal is rusted out and it's no more good. So therefore I have to replace the whole thing. Um, I do need to replace the whole thing. I'm going to try to put it back. It's probably going to try its hardest to heat up the house. Um, but I doubt that it's going to be operational for more than a week. So hopefully um, I get my replacement on time. And there's no delay. And hopefully when I do put this thing back, there's no problems with it also. Because not having heat or hot water works right now because I have um, a one-year-old and a two-year-old so hopefully everything goes well all right so I'm gonna put it back because I got the wrong order all right so um, for you guys out there that have an Endorus Loris heating system you will definitely take this out before you go and try to purchase this because if you go to the store and you notice this one's not a you you'll let home depot know immediately and then they'll be able to get you the right one uh this took me about a week to get so it's probably gonna take another week for me to get this right here again um this thing the new one of it so hopefully the boiler system works all right i'll do the video and then um Restart it. I'm gonna have to clean all this right here because I don't like it All right guys, I went ahead and put it back all right So I'm trying to do a before and after All right, let's stand up real quick. So this side looks before uh, Looks like that's the spider right here <laughs> The dude fried that sucks um it's like those may be little ants, whatever. Um, looks like that's good, but should be fine. I'll have the maintenance guy look at it next time. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do some cleanup. Again, I wasn't able to change the um, what's this thing called again? Um, the igniter. Is this? Uh, this part of the uh, igniter has to be a U-shape, not a whole solid uh, metal. 
So because of that, um, I have Home Depot, go online, see if they have another one, make sure it's the right one. I may have to just call Endurance, Endurance and, um, uh, or Loris and see if they have the part. Because if Home Depot doesn't carry it, I have to go through them. Uh, headache, headache. Well, the good news about this boiler system is made for the poor man, so anyone can um, interchange parts in it so long as it's not this part right here, right? The part I'm pointing to, the part for the gas. So, no way I'm messing with that. Um, and you should not neither uh, or either if you have any issues with your boiler and you have any um, problems that's not if the light doesn't say LO I think the the um, has to say F4 or something like that and if it says F4 that means it's not the ignition switch or the um, grunt force right here the red one um, it's, it's and if it's the gas you have to definitely call a maintenance guy um, that knows uh, preferably go to the Loris and call Loris. Don't go through um, Roto Rooter or any of those other companies because what they're gonna do, they're gonna come in, they're gonna look at your system, they're gonna tell you, uh, yeah, it's a new system, can't really uh, going on, and then you end up with a with a payment. Um, after the guy just came to just look at your system. And can't tell you anything. So, um, again, um, I'm going to just stop the video, clean up, and then show you a before and after. Before. I mean, after, sorry. You're looking at the before right now. Okay. Alright, guys, I'm back. I uh, didn't do much. Just a little bit wiping down. Right here. And also wiping down of this section so as you can see it's a little bit cleaner um we're gonna try right now to restart the system all right so hold on all right so we restart the system um looks like the temperature is going back up i'm gonna try to initiate the um looks like the top needs to be So that hearing is the system trying to kick off and try to start. Alright, and that's the gauge making a lot of noise. Uh oh. So that's good. So I'm gonna cut it right here, but the temperature is going up. And yeah, so apparently it worked again. I got the heating system back. Um, the gauge, however, it looks like it's going down, so it's probably gonna give me that LO sign. So. I'm gonna try to restart it. Then I kick it. Up. All right. Oh, looks like temperature's going down. Yeah, it's not gonna survive. So. Yeah, it's going down too low. Yeah, it's not gonna make it. All right, guys, I'm gonna be without heat for a little. Come on, come on, push it up, push it up. Yeah. Oh, it looks like. Oh, the gauge is going up. 
So as you can see, it's trying to push itself up. So hopefully it stays past the 15. The point is for it to be the 15. Once it's past the 15 and the temperature holds and keeps up, then what's going to happen is um, the heat's going to be back on. But who knows? It, it may go up, it may go down. I definitely need to get that new uh, ignition switch. So I'll keep you posted what happened. All right. Like, subscribe. This is Levi. Um, this is a channel mostly about uh, t-shirts and how to make t-shirts. But also, uh, since I do this at home, I figure it's some issues that may be faced at home. Such as your boiler system going down in your basement. Okay. All right.